Hello, good evening. You're welcome to today's prayer session for the Rich People Group. God bless you. My name is Josephine, and we are here once again to reach the Rich People Group through prayers. God bless you. You are welcome. You are welcome. I trust God that you had a very <clears throat> fruitful day at work at your place of business. God bless you in the name of Jesus Christ, and you are welcome once again. Um, today we'll be praying for the Pashtun Yadun in Pakistan, the Rich Pool Group. Those are the people we are going to be praying for today. Now, Rich Pool Group are ethnic group of people. Some of these people group don't know who Jesus is, never heard about Jesus, and they don't have access to gospel materials in the local languages, and these people don't have enough Christians among them to evangelize them. What this means is that these people need people, Christians, to come from outside of their community to be able to evangelize them. So we are joining the way as God give us the grace. We meet Monday through Friday, 9 p.m. Nigerian time, and reach this book group through prayers. And every information we provide to you here is as provided on the Joshua Project prayer platform. We join the Joshua Project prayer platform and we pick every information from that platform and we bring it to you. The information we give you about this specific unreachable group, groups of the day is as provided by Joshua Project. Joshua Project is a Christian organization that seeks to coordinate the activities with other Christian organizations to sort out this unreachable group, their location, their needs, prayer needs, material needs, financial needs, and spiritual needs. So we take this prayer point on the from the Joshua Project platform and we come here to um, pray them. So we are inviting you to join us Monday through Friday, 9 p.m. Nigerian time. Please share the links with your friends and family to join us as we reach the unreachable group through prayers and God bless you immensely as you join us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Then there are many ways you can reach Unreachable Group. I like to say that within our family, within our friend circle, we have unrich persons. We have unrich people. If you have a friend that is not a Christian, that person is an unrich person. If you have a family member that does not go to church, doesn't believe in Jesus Christ, that person is an unrich person. So within our immediate circle, we have unreachable group. We have unrich persons. So I think it's best. They say charity begins at home. So we should start by reaching our immediate families, our neighbors, and of course, our colleagues. We will reach them with the gospel, talk to them about Jesus, pray for them, you know. You see, we can also do that. And as a Christian, you can also talk to somebody about Jesus Christ that's reaching the unrich. The Great Commission is a tax that has been given to every professing Christian. If you say you are a professing Christian, you say you are a child of God, you have been called to the fulfillment of the Great Commission. And there are different ways you can do that. You can also um, adopt an unreachable group. What you do for this people group is you pray for them every day. That's what you do when you adopt an unreachable group. You can choose a particular unreachable group from any country of your choice. You know, there are over 3 billion unreachable groups. People, over 3.2 billion of them are not rich with the gospel, you see. And you see, by November last year, the world population became exactly 8 billion. So you have 3.2 billion that are not rich with the gospel. You have 2.6 Christians and you have 1. Point something billion. Uh, Muslims. So you see how much we need to do to reach the unreachable group and you can also pray for them, devout time to pray for the advancement of God's kingdom and to stand in the gap for souls to be saved from different nations of the earth and bring it into the kingdom of God. God bless you immensely as you do that. So I'm going to give us the brief information, like I said, as provided by the Joshua Project on the Joshua Project platform. Today we are praying for the Pastor Yadun in Pakistan. We are praying for the Pashtun Yadun in Pakistan. Come along as we pray for today's session. 
Father, in the name of Jesus the Christ, we give you all the praise and we thank you for another day. We thank you for the opportunity to come before you and we thank you for calling us to a place of prayer and power. We honor your majesty. Blessed be your name in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you for all the other sessions and we thank you particularly for today's session. For the Holy Ghost, we depend on you to help us to pray the mind of the Father concerning to this group. We pray that you enable us, Holy Ghost, enable our tongue, supply strength to our inner man, and help us to pray today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Give us all trust in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And we ask that Jesus be glorified on this prayer platform tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you for your omnipresence, and we ask that your manifest presence will rest with us tonight as we reach the rich people group through prayers to the praise and glory of your name alone. Thank you, King of Glory. Blessed be your name. Above all, let Jesus be glorified today. We thank you for as many you are bringing tonight to join this session. Thank you, King of Glory. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, we have prayed. Amen and amen. Okay, like I said, we are praying for the Pashtun Yadun in Pakistan, the original group of today. So here is a little background information about this people group as provided by the Joshua Project. The Pashtun of Afghanistan and Pakistan are politically divided, but united by the Pashtunwana to Wali code of honor and their descent from Father Abraham. They are nearly all Muslim. They seek to maintain coherence despite their many clan, tribe and political factions. One of their clans is the Yadun. So a uh, ministry obstacles. Why are these particular people group not rich with the gospel? The cultural di divisions pride and suspicion of outsider limit outreach as does the islamic belief that the bible is corrupt and that jesus is only a prophet not only way to salvation and reconciliation with god outreach ideas there are people in the pashtun diaspora who have ties to the yadun pashtun in pakistan um, Christ, Christ ambassador can capitalize on their belief that they are descendants from Abraham so that it may become a bridge of God. They can focus on the realization that the blessing of Abraham is fulfilled in Christ. This can be done through literature, radio, the Jesus film, and television. Scripture focus, it said, Psalm 148, verse 5. Psalm 148, verse 5 say. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for he commanded and they were created. Hallelujah. I'll take that again. He said, Psalm 148 and verse 5, he said, Let them praise the name of the Lord, for he commanded and they were created. Hallelujah. Praise God. Okay, you see, uh, the uh, Pashtun Jadun people, they have a population of 478,000. Global population is the same, 178,000, and primary language is Pashto, Northern, and their primary religion is Islam. Christian adherents, 0.0% out of the population of 478,000, you have 0.0% Christian adherent, evangelical 0.0%, so you don't have much people among this group who believe in the gospel of salvation. Like we say, we have a lot of work to do and all hands must be on deck to fulfill the great commission and it will happen so in the name of jesus the christ so scripture prayer for this people group we are going to pray that the gift of life we draw many from this people group to worshiping god only we are also going to pray that there are no Pakistan churches but there are pakistani churches to receive the jadun pakistan we are going to pray that the pakistani church would be open to believers from Muslim background. We are also going to pray the Holy Spirit will make Jadun Pakistan receptive to witness and scripture. We are going to pray many will see that surrendering to Christ is the way to find honor and peace. Hallelujah. So let's pray. Join me as we pray in the spirit for one minute for this people group in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we lift up to this people group the Pakistan Yadun of Pakistan to your throne of grace tonight 
and we begin to pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Kabazuna keta na makuza keta laya. Eka pazo zoko to naka padila brakuta ziketeka. Imbanko na maza kata deka bakuta ziketea. Imbanko na maze kete kadala brakuto zikata. Kabano kadali beko to kapakoto. Kadane ke pezu zone kata kata. E gabazu koto na kapada li preku kapa. Ke pezu koto li preku kabrakoto. Concerning today's people group, Father, we pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Ke no kamazu koto li kede. E gabazu koto kaprakoto kata. O gabazu koto kaprakete kata. We place a demand and we begin to make claim, O God, of this people group. For that we ask, O God, according to the order of Psalm 2 and verse 8, He say, Ask of me and I will give you the hidden for your inheritance and the utmost part of the earth for your possession. Therefore, Father, we pray tonight, O God, according to your word that you give unto us, O God, la bakoto, the Pashtun Yadun people, the Gaba Zukoto of Pakistan, as our inheritance, a joy in Zoe and the utmost part of the earth of our possession in the name of Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Kabazo koto na makade kata. Le kwa bazo zani kapa koto kada. E kapazo zo koto kada na kada. Kaba koto zeke de kapa koto zeke tani kaba. Father, we pray tonight, O oh God, that Kanane Kazuketea give unto us according to the order of Psalm 2, verse 8. The O oh God, my Father, the Pakistan Yadun people, O oh God, uh, the Pashtun Yadun people of Pakistan, uh, as our inheritance and the utmost part of the earth as our possession. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, uh, O oh Kapazo, we are asking as a community of believers, as a family, O oh God, joy in Zoe Intercessory Ministries. Father, we are asking, O oh God, that you give Give unto us to this group, O oh God, my Father, as our inheritance and the utmost part of the earth as our possession. In the name of Jesus Christ, Kepa Zozo Koto Kada. In Bankoza Kade Kapakoto, I Bazo Koto Kabakada, Kabankoto Zeke Teke Paku Kabragadia, In Bankoto Zeke Taka Bakoto, I Gabazo Zozo Koto Kadia, Kabakoto, Kabakoto Zakata Likada, Kabankoto Kabakoto Kadekete, Kibazo Zoka Naka Pali Praku Kabagata, E Kapazo Zokoto Deke Dekata, E Kota Naka bazo koto koto e bakuta zeke take a bragodo kabanko to zeke take a bako de kadam e kato li prazozo koto kadagada kabako to zeke te li braku dagadam e banko kabako to kadekete ke bako zeke te kadona makoto e banko kabazo koto gadagada kabako to zeke te de kabako to e banko kabazo zoko to kadegete e kabazo zoko to de kabrako do gadam e banko kabazo zoko to kabragada kabako do kana kabazo koto ko e kabazo zoko to de kabragada kabako to zakata de kete kadam e gambanko to zagade ke pekoto imbanku kabazo zoko to kabako do kabaga dagada e kabazo zoko to kadegede e gabanko to zeke te kada kabanko to zika dagada ke pako to kadagata e kabako kabako zoko to kadaga deke te kabako do na maka zeke te O gaba zozo koto li preku kabagada. In Jesus mighty name we are praying. Amen and amen. Father we pray that the gift of life will draw many from this people group to worshiping God only. Hallelujah. A kaba zokoto. Father we pray in the name of Jesus Christ that the gift of life will draw many from this people group to worshiping God only. Jehovah the eternal one. Le koza kapa koto zekete. E kapa zokoto kabragada gata. Kabanzo zokoto de kabakoto kada. E kapa kuta lipra kukapa. Kapakoto. 
ekapa zokoto kadaga dakada engamba koto zeke teka brakoto ibako kaba zeko to nakabagada kabako to koto kabako to kadia ekapa zozoko to lipre ku kabako to kadaga daga bako to kodo ekapa zozoko to kadegedia imbanku kabako to kadegete ke pako zakata li prakuda gedekea kabanko to zekete ke pako kabagada ibako to zekete kabako to kabragada kapako to kadagata e kabazo zoko to de kabako na kabazikata ke peko to zakata le kodogada e kabazo zoko to li prakuda kabagada in banko kabazo koto lipe kuka bragada in jesus mighty name we are praying amen and amen we are going to pray say father we pray in the name of jesus christ that the pakistani church would be open to believers from muslim background in the mighty name of jesus christ koto kabazo koto lipe kuka bagada kabazo zoko to kadeke te kabako to in banko to zeke ta kadagada kepe koto zakata de kabako do in banko kabako to kabako to kada kepa koto kazeke ta kado kabako to kadia in banko kabako to kabazo koto li kabako to kadeke de kampanko to kada e gabazo zoko to kodo kada gadege de e kapazo zoko to de kabrago do kata kambanko to kabada le preku kabako to e gabazo zoko to kada gada kepe koto zagada li preku kabagada kambanko to nagada le koto kabako to e gabazo zoko to kadege de ke to na kabazo zoko to kabagada kabako to zeke te li preku kabako to in banku kabazo ko to li preke dea father we pray that the pakistani church would be open to believers from muslim background in the name of jesus christ zeko to kabako to kata e bazo ko to kabako do kadege dea ke pako to zeke te kabako to e gabako kapa e kabazo ko to kadagada kabazo ko to deke de kabako zika dagada kapako to zeke ta li braku kabago to em banko kabazo ko to do kabaka ta e kapazo ko to kabago do kabako to kadagada kabako zozo ko to deke de kada e kapazo zozo ko to li pe ku kabako to em banko kabazo ko to gedeke e kapazo zozo to de kabako to kimbango do kabako to kazekete e kapazo zozo to kadagadagada e kapazo ko to kadegede kada ko ta le pe ko kabazo ko to kabako to e kapazo ko ko to li pa ku kabako to kadagada kabako to ko to kabako do em banko kabazo zozo ko to ko to ke de gaba ko to kada in the mighty name of jesus christ amen and amen thank you jesus i'm going to pray for the holy ghost that the holy ghost will make your doing practical perceptive to witness and scripture in the name of jesus christ father we pray oh god by your spirit oh god make your doing practical receptive to the witness and to the scripture in the name of jesus christ father as they are prepare their hearts oh god uh, make their hearts oh god a fighter ground oh god uh, as they receive the scripture oh god le coca pa they will not be cast away oh god e kapa zoko to kata the scripture will be unto them like a seed uh, that is a soul on a good soil uh, in the name of jesus christ uh, that will bear fruit in the mighty name of jesus oh zakata de koto kata e gaba zozo koto li pe koka ba koto kan danga ta kaba zoko to de kete e kapa zozo na kapa kodo kapa kuka pa koto 
kabakoto kabata neke pekoto father we pray for the holy ghost uh, that the holy ghost will make the yadun pastor receptive uh, to witness and scripture in the mighty name of jesus christ uh, kepe koto kaprakoto kata as they hear the truth of god's word uh, as they hear the gospel of salvation as they hear the gospel of jesus christ uh, father they will never remain the same uh, the kapazoko to every seed of the gospel oh god my father we yet good fruit oh god uh, we bear fruit in their hearts oh god in their minds oh god in their spirit soul and body and among them oh god as they hear the gospel of salvation father they will never remain the same again their lives will never remain the same again in the name of jesus christ as they begin to put into practice a good practice every word oh god begin to find fulfillment in their lives in the name of jesus christ oh kapa zoko to kapa kazikata e kapa zo zo ko to kapa kapa ko do gada e kapa zo zo ko to kadekete kabango do kapa zekete ke kapa ko to imbango da kama no kapa ko to e kapa zo 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 ko to kapa kada ke de ko na kapa zo zo ko to katakia imbango to zekete kapa ko to kabano kapa le ko to zekete in banku kabazo koto de gada gada kapa koto zeke tele ke te kapa o ba zeke te kapa father we pray in the name of Jesus Christ that the Holy Ghost will make the yadun pakstuna has receptive to the gospel of salvation le ko kabazo koto kapa kata father we pray that the gospel will flourish oh God in the hearts and mind of this group le ko kapa no word of the gospel they hear will fall to the ground like kapa Zoko toka bagodoya, e kapa zoko toka bakoto kata, le koka pa zoko toka brakoto koto, e banko kapa zoko toka pakata. The Bible says why Peter spoke, people were caught in their heart and they begin to ask men and brethren, what shall we do to be saved? Even so, Father, we ask, O God, that you do unto the heart of this one, so God, le kaba zoko toka brakoto, le koka ba zoko to de let their heart, O oh God, be in tune, O oh God, to the word. Let their heart, O oh God, be receptive to the gospel of salvation. As they hear your word, O oh God, let them begin to ask, O oh God, what they need to be saved. Let your word begin to transform their lives. Let your let the light of your word break every darkness, O oh God, and break forth your light in their life, O oh God. He said the entrance of the word of God brings light and it gives understanding standing unto the simple father we pray oh god but does the call to lick up by the spirit of jehovah as this people group hear the gospel of salvation let every darkness every doubt oh god in their hearts oh god be cast out by the word of god let the light of the word of god let the light of the gospel of salvation begin to illuminate their heart illuminate their mind and give them understanding in the mighty name of jesus christ oh zeketa dagaba kukaba le kuna mazo zoko to kadagata kebako to kabaze kadina makutea e kabazo ko to kapako to e kabazo ko to kapako do gadagata le ko kapazo ko to kapakata let the light of the word of god let the light of the gospel of salvation begin to destroy every age long issues every doubt every misconception of god in the heart of this group le ku Kabazo koto kabakata le koka bazo koto de kapakoto e bano kabazo koto de gede e bakoto kaza kada kadegete o kabazo koto le kapakoto above all father we pray O God let the heart of this group be receptive to the gospel of salvation e kapazo katekete as they hear the gospel of salvation let them be pricked in their heart O God kabakoto kab 
brakata le pekoto thereby causing them to bring forth fruit for repentance le koka pa zoko toka pra koka pakata o zeke pegu gaba koto kodo in banku kaba zozo koto kata le koka pa zoko to le peko kapa le ko zagade gede gede o nama kaba koto kapa Hey, kapa, so koto, kapa, as they hear the word of Jesus Christ, uh, the gospel of Jesus Christ, Father, we pray, O oh God, that their lives will never remain the same again. Their lives will never remain the same again. Uh, hey, ko, kapa, so koto, the transforming light of God's word, uh, begin to transform their lives, O oh God, uh, begin to change them, O oh God, uh, begin to build them up in the name of Jesus Christ. O, kada, neke, zeke, te, kapa, hey, ko, kapa, so ko, dali, pa, ku, kapa, hey, Kappa Zoko to Kappa, every power of darkness, we subdue them in the name of Jesus Christ and we bring them to the obedience of Christ in the name of Jesus Christ. Zoko to Kadagada, a Kappa Zoko to Kadagadekete, O Gabba Zuza Kadagate Liprekoto. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, we are praying. Amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. We are still going to pray that many will see that surrendering to Christ is the true way to find honor and peace. Hallelujah. Oh, Father, we pray, oh God, that the eyes of the understanding of this people group be enlightened, oh God, that, that they may see and come to know that a couple so that surrendering their life to Christ. Uh, is the true way to find honor and peace. Is the true way to find joy. Is the true way to find fulfillment. Is the true way to find contentment. In the name of Jesus Christ. Zeko to kabazuko to a. E kabazoko to kadagada. Kabande kamanu kabazoko to ko. E gabazo zeke tadagada. E gabanko to zaneke to likebre koto. Kadange to ze kapade kutanakia. Imbanko to leke Pekoto, a da neke to kaba zuzaka tale kodo, e bankua kazaka teke dogadea, e bakoto zanaka brake teko tu kabria, le koka bazo zozo koto kadeata, e danku e banko zata kadeka tu kata, le brako do kadagada. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus Christ that many from this group, if not all, we see that surrendering to the Christ is the way to find honor and peace. Therefore, we pray, Father, that you open their eyes of understanding. La ba koto ka bra koto kata e ka ba zozo koto li pe kukapa. For the Bible says, speaking in John 1 to every say, for as many that received him to them gave him power to become the sons of God. La bre ko na ka ba zoko to ka pa kukapa. Le ku ka ba zoko to ke pe zuko to kata. E kapa zoko to kadagata, o gada neko zakata dekete, o kapa zakata leko kukapa. Father, we pray, O God, that you open the eyes of the understanding of today's people group, O God, that they may come to know, they may come to understand, they will learn, O God, that surrendering and giving up their life to Christ is the true way to find honor, is the true way to find peace, is the true way to find contentment is the true way to find joy is the true way to find happiness e kapa zuko to kapa kazikata e dano kapa zuko to kapa ka kapa zozo zuko to degede in banku apa zuzo ku kapa koto kadane koto kapa zuko e dako to zeke te kada kapa koto kapa zuko na katia e kapa zuzo koto koto ke banko to zika Kuto kodo, in banku kabazo koto kadagada, kapakoto kabago dogada, e kapazo koto kabako tokada, e gabazo koto kabraketea, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ we are praying. Amen. Above all, we pray, Father, that your will be done for this people group. Let your will for this people group be done. Let your will be done among the Pakistanian done people in Pakistan and all of Pakistan. Let your will be done in the nations of the earth. Let your will be done among, oh God, every people group. Oh God, let your will be done. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ, across the nations of the earth, Father, we pray. Let your will be done in the body of Christ, O God, in the nations of the earth. 
Let your will be done. Let your will be done. Let your will be done. And let your will be done. Oh God, enjoy in the way. Let your will be done. A kaba zoko to kapra koto kata. A kapa in the mission field. Oh God, let your will be done. A gaba zo in the families. Let your will be done. In the offices, let your will be done. Across the nations of the earth. For the Bible speaking in Habakkuk 2 14, it said it shall come to pass that the earth will be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the waters covers the sea. Oh, kapa zoko to kapa koto. It shall come to pass on the last day that the mountain of the Lord shall be exalted above every other mountain and nations will begin to flow into it. Eh, gaba zoko to kabraka de katam. Oh, kaba zoko to kabrakete li kapa. Oh, gaba satada le to zikatam. Father, we pray tonight, oh God, that the earth be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. Let the nations of the earth be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. Kabako to and let the church of Jesus Christ be lifted above of every other institution, organization, parastatas, le coca bazo kotoa, and let nations begin to flow into the Church of Jesus Christ uh, for their salvation and establishment uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Zekoto na nakazikata le koka pa zokoto li ke prekotoa e kapa zukoto kaprakata. Let the Church of Jesus Christ across the nations of the earth be lifted above any agency, any government institutions, e koka pa or any institution for that matter, and let them begin to flow. Le kapa zukoto let begin to flow. Let Nations begin to flow. Let institutions begin to flow. Let government, establishment, corporations begin to flow into the Church of Jesus Christ for the establishment in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Zekoto kapakoto in banko kabazokoto li kabrakata. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen and amen. The Bible speaking in Titus 2 11, it says, For the grace of God that bringeth salvation has appeared unto all men. Father, tonight we pray, O God, we place a demand on your word, O God. Let your grace, let your deliverance that brings salvation appear to men across the nations of the earth as many that have been ordained for salvation. Let no soul be left behind. Let every soul be saved, O God, in the name of Jesus Christ. And let souls be saved in the alley, O God. God in the prison, the marketplace, oh God, in the prison yard, oh God, my father, in the dungeon, regardless of their location, as many, oh God, have been ordained for salvation today before the foundation of the earth, regardless of their location, Father. Remember, you said in your word that you take no delight whatsoever in the death of any sinner. He said, It's not your will that any should perish, but to all should come to repentance. Therefore, we pray, O oh God, uh, let your grace locate men across the nations of the earth uh, and begin to save them. Let their souls be saved, O oh God. Let souls be saved across the nations of the earth uh, to the praise and glory of your name alone. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father, we give you thanks, O oh God. Blessed be your name. We pray for as many, O oh God, that are battling with any kind of addiction, pornography, drug, any kind of addiction masturbation as many oh god that are battling that are struggling with any kind of addiction father we break in the name of jesus christ every spirit every power of addiction over their lives we break in the name of jesus christ we break in the name of jesus christ as many oh god in the body of christ around the world oh god that are struggling oh god with any kind of addiction oh god tonight oh god by the power that's the name of jesus christ that power Addiction is broken now in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says who the Son of God has set free is free indeed by the power of the name of Jesus Christ. We set them free from every bondage of addiction in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, King of Glory. Blessed be your name forevermore. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Father, we thank you because you've answered as we pray with thanksgiving in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. God bless you so much. Thank you so much. We are so grateful that you're able to join in and stay till now. And we exceeded by three minutes.
please don't see that we are so grateful that you're able to stay thank you so much please do well to invite your friends and your families and share the link across board and let everyone join us as we reach the reachable group through prayers god bless you immensely as you do so in the mighty name of jesus christ we look forward to see you tomorrow same time 9 p.m nigerian time as we reach the reachable group through prayer god bless you do have a restful night see you tomorrow shalom shalom <music>